welcome to the Stockton Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning. The Stockton Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning promotes the ideals of public service and social responsibility in order to serve the public good. The importance of community partnership connection. Building a connection with a community partner is the foundation of creating courses, service programs, or a research agenda based in scholarship of engagement. In order to be truly reciprocal and mutually beneficial, the community partner is part of all aspects of planning, design, implementation, and assessment. Before any further work can be done in these areas, it is important to first begin with establishing this connection. Finding the right community partner. To begin, it is important to first determine the best kind of community partner to begin building a relationship with. Some key areas to consider are prior relationship with Stockton University, an easy way to begin to establish a relationship with a community partner is to work with a partner who may already have a prior or current relationship with Stockton. This can be helpful in that the community partner will already have an understanding of Stockton's mission and vision, as well as an understanding of what it is to work with a faculty member. This is not to say that establishing a brand new relationship with a community partner is not a wise idea, but keep in mind that time may need to be dedicated to aiding the community partner in becoming acclimated with the university first. Geographic location. There are a number of considerations to keep in mind when thinking about the geographic location of the community partner. Is this an organization that will be working with your students? If so, will your students be able to get to their location easily, or will transportation need to be arranged? Is this a partner or organization that is looking for in-person work to be completed, or will the nature of your work together be mostly completed at a distance? It is important to consider these factors, as this can influence the ultimate success of a study, program, or collaboration. The nature of the work to be completed. It is important to engage in a reciprocal conversation with your potential community partner about the kind of work you are hoping to do together. Is this solely focused on scholarship of engagement, a class project? Do you have short-term and long-term goals? Is this a collaboration you hope to have last for several years or only a few semesters? It is vital to have these conversations from the beginning, as you and your community partner may have very similar or very different ideas regarding the purpose and nature of the work to be completed. Meeting our partners where they are. A necessary point of consideration is to meet our community partners where they are and to remember that the community setting and the academic setting are often very different. Community partners can have very different needs, goals, resources, priorities, and missions, which can lead to difficulties and opportunities when attempting to establish a quality relationship. One way to navigate this area is to work with the community partners to conduct a needs assessment. A needs assessment is often focused on the ends, or what is to be achieved as an outcome, and is not initially focused on the means or the methods of achieving these goals. This is an important distinction, as it allows for both you and the community partner to first and foremost discuss end goals, desired outcomes, and mutually beneficial results that can come forth from your connection. From here, it is then possible to collaboratively come up with means to achieve these goals that can take both sets of values, needs, and limitations into account. Agenda and goal planning. A final point of consideration is the need to work with your community partner in creating your agenda and your goals for working together. This can be a highly illuminating component of building a relationship as it takes into account the very real time that is often required to get a project, study, or collaboration off the ground. Sometimes a community partner can feel overwhelmed that a faculty member is asking too much too quickly. And on the other hand, sometimes a faculty member can feel that a community partner is not prioritizing their project or study. To prevent this kind of conflict, setting a time-based agenda with a list of measurable and achievable goals 
can provide each party involved with an awareness and appreciation for the step-by-step -step means by which these goals will be achieved. Often it may take an entire semester or even more to just get everyone on the same page and agree upon a timeline for project completion. If this is taken into consideration from the beginning, a lot of frustration and worry can be avoided. Lastly, having an agenda, often designed as academic semester to academic semester, provides a marker that work can be measured. Are things moving too fast or too slowly? Without a pre-planned agenda of work to be completed, it can be hard to tell. It is also important to inform the Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning that you have established a partnership and the contact person at the organization. This facilitates the process for the Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning to establish a service learning agreement. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about how to develop a meaningful and beneficial relationship with a community partner. Please reach out to the Stockton Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning with any questions you may have, as we are here to help guide you through each step of this process. Be well, and we look forward to working with you soon.